hello guys nisha here welcome back to my youtube channel and as you can see today i'm showing you how to make the best the yummiest guacamole recipe ever stay tuned up to the end welcome to my kitchen So right now I'm going to be showing you my ingredients and the first thing you need is two avocados, ripe avocado and well cleaned. The next thing you need is a juicy lemon fruit and then you need a nice tomato and then you need medium sized red onion and then you need garlic. And spring onions a few coriander dania salt vinegar and oregano guys my guacamole is semi spiced and trust me try this recipe and if it doesn't turn out well look for me anyway this is everything that i'll be needing in my process of making my guacamole so all i can ask you is stay tuned up to the end so guys the first thing i'm going to prepare in this recipe are the red onions and i'm going to slice them into very small sizes you don't need large sizes in guacamole so you need them in very small sizes and the next step i'm going to place them in a bowl a smaller bowl and then i'm going to add a quarter tablespoon of salt that's a lot you can even add half if you want and then i'm going to add quarter tablespoon again of vinegar guys i'm doing this because i want to release the bitter taste of the onions you don't want to taste a very bitter taste in gokomori so this is the easiest way to get rid of that bad taste that onion bad taste i'm supposed to do the same thing for both spring onions and the red onions but you see the red onions are more bitter so i place them first as I prepare the spring onions but I'm going to add the spring onions to the red onions because they are all onions and I need to release the bitter taste for both of them so right now I'm slicing the spring onions and once I'm done I'm going to add them to my red onions and mix them together so that they get the salt and the vinegar too guys this this procedure helps in getting rid of that that onion taste try this and thank me later so our next step is to prepare our avocado and your avocado needs to be well ripe and as you can see it looks good so right now i'm trying to prepare my avocado it's my next step they there they are they really look yummy <laughs> and good you need to choose a very good avocado for guacamole and then i'm going to scoop all the avocado into the bowl once you've scooped all you need to mash them with a fork so that's my first avocado i'm going to do the same with my second avocado you can decide to add them all together and then mash but for better mashing i try to mash each at a time so that you don't get the lumps so i'm doing the same with the second avocado and as you can see even the second avocado looks really cute and 
same procedure guys if you love this video so far make sure you give it a big thumbs up also if you're new here make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell and if you're already thank you so much for always coming back i love you so much for keeping this family alive guys this guacamole is sweet i'm not like making up stories if you try it with crackers or crisps or i even eat with chips sometimes it's just the best even with bread like try it with bread uh, make a toast with it and you're going to love it anyway right now i'm mashing my avocado and it's well mashed so we need to go to our next step our next step i'm going to prepare my lemon fruit so you cut your lemon fruit and squeeze the juice inside your avocado okay so squeeze all the lemon juice i'm going to use the full lemon juice so yeah so i just squeezed half of it and right now i'm squeezing the other half So once you're done adding the lemon juice, just mix the avocado well and let it rest. Okay, so we have our onions resting and our, our avocado plus the lemon juice resting. Now let's prepare the tomato. So for our tomato, we need to remove the fresh part. You see that inner part that is kind of juicy, you have to remove that because it kind of messes up with your guacamole we don't need that part of the tomato so you have to remove that part the fresh part the inner part so you have to remove that guys so once you're done removing the inner part of the tomato you have to slice your tomato into small sizes too you don't need big sizes just slice your tomato into small sizes so guys right now my tomatoes are ready and i just placed them into another small bowl and the next thing i'm going to do is grate my my garlic into the tomatoes guys grate them into very small particles this thing i'm using makes it look like it's mashed completely mashed and if you grate your garlic into the tomatoes and mix it up by the time your guacamole is ready the garlic taste will have been absorbed into the tomatoes yeah so mix them up and let's go to our next step our next step is prepare the coriander and i'll just be using the leaves so right now i'm removing the leaves from the stalk because I don't need the stock for this recipe so right now the next thing you need to do is slice your coriander too into small pieces you don't slice them you don't like cut big pieces just cut try as much as possible to cut small pieces okay so once it's all ready let's jump to our next step guys if you're new please make sure you subscribe also guys comment below what you think about this video if you think you can try this recipe comment below and guys i promise you it's the best guacamole recipe ever so everything so far sorry everything so far is ready let's get to our next step remember our onions we added a lot of salt and vinegar we wanted it to release that nasty taste so we're going to rinse that nasty taste out and what you need is warm water to rinse it out and you need to rinse it like three times okay guys so i'm going to rinse my onions three times 
you can rinse as much as you want you want to get rid of that nasty taste you also want to get rid of excess vinegar and excess salt guys by the don't eat raw or direct vinegar okay let it absorb to something and then just eat it from there so i just my onions and they're ready and everything is ready so let's get to our next step so guys it's time to make our final combo and yeah everything is ready all we need to do is mix everything up okay so we have our avocado which had lemon juice and we have our marinated um what do you call it um <laughs> onions both red and spring onions mix everything together and then add your tomatoes the tomatoes remember the tomatoes have what they have garlic okay yeah so add everything together guys make sure you like this video give it a big thumbs up because the end product is yummy this thing is sweet you can serve it with crepes or those crackers or with uh, fries you can also do with a uh, bread just do a toast or a burger or anything you like guys trust me it's just and then i'm going to garnish it or the next thing i'm going to add is a coriander mix you don't know the taste of this thing guys it's yummy it's sweet it's the best guacamole ever wow and the last thing i'm going to add i'm going to sprinkle a little bit of oregano i love oregano try it also don't sprinkle a lot of it just sprinkle a little bit for you to get that oregano taste by far oregano is a hub so yeah just imagine the taste of this guacamole guys it's yummy and our guacamole is ready so let's do our final presentation So guys, as we wait for final presentation, make sure you like this video. And guys, if you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe and click that post notification bell. And our guacamole is ready, guys. I'm serving it with crepes. You can serve it with crepes, crackers, or I don't know how you like your guacamole. And also don't know what you serve your guacamole with. For us, we even serve it with fries or spread on the bread so comment below and tell me what you have your guacamole with and guys i promise you this recipe is sweet this guacamole is sweet i challenge you to try it and give me the feedback um otherwise guys thank you so much for staying tuned thank you so much for always supporting me thank you so much for staying tuned up to the end of the video and if you loved it don't forget to like and comment thank you thank you so much and try the challenge let's meet in our next recipe bye